<sighs> All right, Shalom. <clears throat> shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and glory and the highest honor to our power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushab Bashem Kapadash, double honors to our elders and apostles, a great millstone. I'm sure that men that rule well, men who taught us this truth, of course, as always, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, to Israelites, are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians. All right. Uh, your father's side, and those of you that don't necessarily look like the typical Israelite. All right, but you believe in the 100% truth, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you would have to be an Israelite. All right, and you believe on the names, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Okay, and the, one, the title of this lesson will be, Don't Take This For Granted. And I'm referring to the truth because, you know, one thing you have to realize is that when you understand the scriptures, uh, and, you know, and I'm saying when you understand the scriptures in 100% truth, it's one thing to, you know, because everybody, everybody, even the Christians can read the book of Proverbs and get some type of wisdom out of it, right? But as far as the true understanding goes, if you have it, amen, cherish it and hold on to it. Don't take it for granted because the true understanding of these scriptures is something that's not given unto everybody, you see. Uh, being able to understand and believe that you're an Israelite, all right, and you know which tribe you come from, you know, through faith, obviously, you know, through the spirit, through the scriptures, if you can understand that and things of that nature, you know, you know how to, you understand the scriptures. You can go into the scriptures. You can break down, you know, your tribe. You can break down the prophecies. You can do all these things with the scriptures. Hey, man, that's a heavy thing, man. I was thinking about that and how beautiful it is that we can really open the book and understand what it's talking about now. Because, you know, just having some memories, you know, from when I was younger, you know, uh, in the flesh, you know. Uh, uh, being a young man and, and, and trying to read the Bible but didn't even know what it was talking about, didn't understand the narrative of it until I got older and, and the Heavenly Father called me into this truth and I started to understand the scriptures truthfully and I started to realize that I'm an Israelite, you know, uh, understanding of my family history and, and the, you know, understanding the scriptures and how, you know, this, how our, our grandfathers, they, they left us this book, man. You know, it's, it's a blessing to be able to understand this. It's a blessing to be able to receive who we are because there's people who we teach them who we are and they say that I'm not an Israelite. I'm this, I'm that, you know? So don't take this for granted, man, because it's not, it's not for everybody, you know? Not everybody can pick this, this book up and, and understand it. Not everybody can pick this book up and receive the truth that is in it. All right, this is Luke 8 and 8. And it says, and other fell... On good ground and sprang up. Oh, Salak. Let me see. Salak, I think I... Now, Mr. Salak, I'm going to skip to verse 9. It says, And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, And he said, Unto you it is given, because he, he had said, Yahweh had spoke a parable, right? And they asked him, his disciples asked him, What parable might this be, right? It says... Uh, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of, of the Most High, but to others in in parables, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. Right? Because to us it's actually given. That's why I brought this example out. Because the disciples, obviously, the of the elect, they're gonna rule in the kingdom of heaven. They're gonna sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Right? So they're of the elect, the 12, the 12 disciples, right? <clears throat> Salakia. And, you know, and Apostle Paul, okay? He's also of the elect, right? So to them, it was, it was given. That's why they were able to understand. That's why they were able to receive the truth. They walked with the Lord, right? And in these times, all right, the men that, that came back, you know, we all know who King David is. We all know who he was. In this time, when he was walking with the Lord, King David was... Um, through the spirit we know was Apostle Peter, right? Well, Apostle Peter came back on this side too as King Masha, King David, right? We know that through the spirit, not to make it about, you know, you know, that's a different topic for a different day. But nonetheless, he came on this side and he knew who he was. He could pick up the book and understand it because it was given. You see, now the fact that we can do the same thing because back then we were doing this as well is a heavy thing, man. You know, just thinking about it, it, it you know, it, it's like, man, this is heavy. How we could pick the scriptures up and know who we are. We could actually get something out of the Bible, man. 
brothers know, man, when we was in the world, we mean, most of us didn't really think about carrying our scriptures because now we carry it with us. Now we, you know, we're tied to it. We have a real bond with the scriptures now, man. You know, it's our comforter, you know, it's our sword, you know, <laughs> it's, it's amazing, man. So don't take this for granted. This is a real treasure. Verse 10, it said, <coughs> and he said unto them, it said, and he said, unto you, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the most high. Yeah. Unto us, it is given because we could all, everybody on this earth could pick up the same book and not know what it's talking about, but the elect will, the elect will be able to piece it together. You see? It's a heavy thing, man. You know, so don't take it for granted. All right, Isaiah six and nine. He said, "Go and tell this people here, ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not." Right? Because what? Let me let me keep reading. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest which means for fear that they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Right? Because when you come into this truth and you convert, all right, you come to to Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, you're going to be healed. So the Lord is saying to blind these people, the wicked Israelites, here in America, the two-thirds of our nation and, and, and the rest of the rebels, man, the rest of the wicked, the rest of the wicked Israelites, they're not going to understand this. They go pick up the same book and believe something else. That's why King David put that curse on them, uh, so to speak, where he said, let this table be made a snare unto them. Because you got people that will read this book and teach a whole different doctrine. You got people that will know that they're Israelites because they picked up this book, but teach something else. And the rest of it, they just don't got it. This table became a snare to them, okay? Because when you come into this truth, you start to become healed. And I can say that from my experience, man. Coming in, Since coming into this truth, my short time so far in this truth, man, Lord willing, it continues for all of us, you know? We continue to have the longevity in this truth. Hey, man, you know, certain demons come off of you, you know? You might have had a, I know I could say a, 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 a cigarette demon when I was in the world, man. You know, weed smoking demon. You know, but what? Those things come off of you when you come into this truth. That's you being healed by the words of Yahweh Basham Yahusha. The fear of the Lord drives out the evil spirits, man. All right. You might have had bad habits that 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 were deteriorating to your health, whether it be your diet. Those things come off of you once you come into this truth, man. Verse eleven. It says, "Then said I, Lord, how long?" And He answered, "Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant." And the houses without men and the and the land be utterly desolate, right? Because what? That means that they're going to be put to death, man. Those people that aren't going to be able to see or hear this truth, man, they're going to be put to death. They're going to receive death for that. You see? Because why? If you're not converting, if you're not coming back to Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, you're a sinner. If you're a sinner, now see, we all sin, but we're repenting. That's the difference. All right? You see, the, the sinners, the wicked Israelites that keep on sinning, they're going to be put to death. That we have received life. That's why we receive life, because we got this knowledge. That's why the scriptures say the kingdom of heaven is within you, man. That's why we can't take this for granted, because we have it already. We have the kingdom of heaven within us, man. To be able to pick up the scriptures, and, and, and it's, a, it's, it's, you know, and I've made videos, a video like this before, but this is just, you know, it's a little bit different, but, you know, the spirit was on me to just speak on this, man, to not take this for granted. All right, because there's even people right now that I could think about that that threw this so threw this away, man. You know, threw it away over something over something petty, man. Don't don't do that to yourself, man. You gotta be in the spirit, man. You gotta stay in the spirit. All right, and never and never take something as beautiful as this for granted, man. You see, because it's it's a heavy it's a heavy and beautiful thing, man, to be able to open up the scriptures and read the prophecies, man, to know what's coming next. You know, brothers even made uh was able to make money. Uh, cause they knew the prophecies, you know, not to, not in a not in a wicked malicious way, you know, just speaking uh, uh you know things that I remember off top, you know, but yeah, man, nonetheless, let me get to uh first, first John two twenty two and twenty, but ye have an unction from the Holy One and ye know all things, right? You see, we have authority, man, more than what you think. Of course, within our circle, we don't have authority. If you're a young brother, we don't have authority over these men, over the men that that rule over us, obviously, but. Man, when it comes down to people in the world, man, not to say that we're going to go out and be super duper Israelite, super soldiers and such, but, you know, hey, man, it, you know, when it comes down to it, man, a, a preacher don't have spiritual authority over you, man. A so-called preacher or so-called prophets in the Christian churches in the world, man, they don't know the scriptures, man. They don't know the, they don't have the spirit, man. It says you have an unction, that, that word unction, I forgot the word in Greek, but it means anointing, 
Because we have an anointing from, from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. We know all things, man. We understand the scriptures, man. We have access to the to the to the understanding. Not just the wisdom and knowledge, because some anybody can benefit from the knowledge of the scriptures. You know? Anybody can become knowledgeable on how to move and be a little prudent from reading the book of Sirach, right? But we have the understanding of the word. We're gonna really profit from it, unlike these people out here, man. Okay. They might learn to bridle their tongue through the Bible, but they ain't going to have no understanding on what they're reading. You know? It says, uh, Revelation 3 and 17, Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increase with goods, and ye... Salakia, let me take the exit real quick. It's a little tight. Salakia. Damn. Salakia. I'm, I'm in transit right now, and there's a lot of trucks. A little dangerous out here. Anyway, it says, And knowest not thou not knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. That's talking about our people, man. <coughs> Salakia. You know? Those are the people that what? That feel like they don't need this. You know? They'll come to the most high when they feel like it. When that's not the case, you can't even choose to come to him. He has to choose you. He has to choose to even call you. You see? You know, because you say, because people are saying, oh, I'm rich and I'm increased with goods. You know, I have need of nothing. Right? That's how people in the world look at look at us. You know what? Or look, or, excuse me, look at this understanding and this truth, man. There's people out there who, who, who seen the truth. You know, there's through the spirit that seen the truth. You know, but they their, their wealth or whatever they had going on was more important to them than the truth. Because when you talk about Christianity now, you're talking about the truth of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. You don't think there's people out there whose business... All right, overcame their love for the truth, or 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 or, or took their attention away from not learning more. That will be to their death. That's what I read in Isaiah six. Okay, it says, "You know, uh, know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, right? Because if you don't have this, and you really don't have shit, the scriptures say riches profit not in the day of wrath." And part of my language, you know, the truth be told, man, if you don't have the true hundred percent truth that Yahweh by Shemi Al Shai, you don't have real profit. All right, because if even if you're a multimillionaire, all right, ain't going to be enough guns and food you can save up or, or ha have to protect you from what's to come. Only uh, only spiritual intervention, only that standard that the Lord will lift up can deliver you in that time, man. All right, that's what you people got to understand, man. Okay? Having the spirit is what truly makes you rich if you're an Israelite. You see? Go ahead and take my mosquito here. Salakia. <clears throat> It says, uh, Salakia, it says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, yet yeah, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, and that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Right? That's true riches right there, man. Because you have a covering. When you come into this truth, you have a covering, man. All right? You're free. From the pollution of the world, man, spiritually, then the physical manifestation of it will come. But nonetheless, you know, that's the true, the true riches, all right, is having this truth. That's why it said that, you know, it said that you have what white raiment, you know, that you might be clothed, right? Because you the only way to for you to be covered by Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is to be in this truth. Yahweh Shai can't cover you if you're in the world. How, you know. How is he going to cover you if you're just committing wickedness all the time and you're not repenting? You know, if you don't, and how is he going to cover you if you're not serving him, however your lot may be, right? How so, man? You got to an answer for, for these things, man. You know? It says, uh, the shame of the nakedness do not appear and anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see, right? And we have the eye salve. When you're in this truth, you have the eye salve to see, man. What can you see? Everything, the scriptures. The understanding, the prophecies. You can you can tie what's going on in the world to what's going on to what the scriptures say. You see? We can see through the darkness now. Cause this this world is a trap, man. It's nothing but, but it'll just blind you. False news, you know, witchcraft going on in the media, the word media itself being evil, you know. Media is a god, a deity, right? All these different things, man, and we're 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 seeing right past it, man. We don't, they, we don't get enchanted like the rest of these people in the world, man. All right? 
when COVID hit, I'm pretty sure people in the world were scared. And the second Joe Biden tells them it's fine, then it's gone. When he tells them that. But we knew from the very beginning not to do that. Why? Because we had the, um, the ice out, you know? And tying it back, man, that that we have that unction from the Holy One. You know all things because we understand everything, man. Okay? Of course, in the kingdom, we'll understand 100%, even down to the elements. But nonetheless, right now, we have enough to what we that we need for salvation, man. You see? So don't take this truth for granted, man. This this uh, The scriptures even say wisdom will make you free from care. But for you to benefit from that, you need the understanding. Because you can't even benefit from it just by, you know, knowing. You have to have the understanding, which is what we receive from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's all spiritual, man. So with that, I hope this is edifying. I want to give pray, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Yahweh Gudash. Your mind is the mothers and apostles, great most of men who are well men and taught us his truth. Peace, blessings has always been to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, Shalom.